Hello, I'm Joe Moliaris, and this is Physical Physics. Today we are discussing basketball, specifically the dunk. This formation of amazingness has been a favorite for quite a long time, including such greats as Spud Webb, Michael Jordan, and Blake Griffin. physics behind this formation. It includes such components as velocity, speed, momentum, work, and force. To test our experiment, we are using one of our school's most talented athletes, Calvin Girasi. First, we begin with the jump. The jump should be as high as possible. We can look at Spud Webb's amazing almost 4 foot vertical leap. Calvin jumps with a height of 0 0.58 meters, a distance of 1.3 meters, and pushes off with a force of 1,892 newtons. This is because he has a velocity of 3.94 meters per second, a mass of 81.6161 kilograms, and a time of 0.17 seconds. The farther back his arm goes, the more force the ball goes with it. That's why the most successful dunks are windmill dunks. Since the ball is in constant contact with his hand, the ball also moves with a velocity of 3.94 meters per second. The ball then goes down the hoop with a speed of 3.94 meters per second. To make all this work out correctly, Calvin's horizontal velocity stayed the same the whole time, whereas his vertical velocity was very great to start. At the peak of the parabola, parabola there was no vertical velocity and at the end there was a great many things we saw the physics behind one of the most awesome moves in basketball we also saw two of our most amazing athletes dunking this is this has been physical physics with me Everybody get up, it's time to slam now. We got the real jam going down. Welcome to the Space Jam. Here's your chance, do your dance at the Space Jam. All right. All right.